Hello everyone. In this video, I want to talk about a few small yet very important things in GDNT. One is in GDNT, the features uh, that you might uh, use a call out on are either surface features or feature of size, FOS. The surface features, you just refer to the surface without referring to any dimension of it. For example, here you say this top surface should be what? Should be parallel to this reference or datum A with a tolerance zone of uh, 0.1 or 100 um, basically microns, okay? So here it just refers to the surface. I have not provided any dimension for it. And uh, uh, my goal was not to uh, make any measurements or anything. I'm just referring to the parallelity of this one with respect to the reference. On the other hand, sometimes you might see that your datum symbol is added to a dimension, not to a surface. And you might say, what does that mean? Can a datum be added to a dimension? The answer is yes. And then where is the datum, right? Because datum really should refer to a surface, not to a dimension. So where is that surface? If you see a datum is added to what we call a feature of size, and here is uh, uh, added to its size, to its dimension, here we are talking about the mid plane. Okay, so here, if I'm giving the distance between this plane and this one, for D, I'm referring to what? I'm referring to the mid plane between the left and the right edge, okay? So this is when a, a datum symbol added to a feature of size, and that means the mid plane of the two ends of it, okay? So this is the first thing I wanted to mention that could be confusing when you see something like that. The second one is, if you have, let's say, a, a position a geometric tolerance and also for that hole that you are providing its position, you also have a watt, you also have the diameter and some linear tolerance and maybe some depth or something, how would you combine the linear tolerance or dimensional tolerance and the geometric tolerance in a single watt leader like this? Because you see here, uh, if you go initially about adding these, you can have two separate leaders, but in GDNT, you typically see they are combined into a single leader. So how would you do that in SOLIDWORKS? Let me show you that one here. So we want to do something similar to this. So let's get rid of it. And now I go to my uh, dimension first and then provide the dimension of this guy. So I say phi is 10, right? And then I can add some uh, bilateral tolerance of plus minus 0.02 right something like this good and then what and then uh let's say just add some depth as well here right which we had over here and let's see first how much depth was so the depth was 40. okay so if i go back here i should be able to add the depth of 40 like that okay so this is what this is the linear tolerance that you have also added the depth so you don't add it here on a, a hidden line and you don't need the section view now i can also go ahead and add a what add a, a position a geometric tolerance so click here and then click again on this guy and bring it out right let's see it is this guy here and then uh, if we double click on this then we should be able to do that so here this is the um, uh, position true position and then here we add a phi of uh, one let's say and i'll tell you next what is this phi and what is this s phi by the way and then we have to add some datums so let's say a b and what c okay so this is what, this is my geometric tolerance, this is the linear tolerance, and you see I have two separate leaders. How do I combine them into one? And it's in SOLIDWORKS, it's really easy. All you need to do is to grab this guy and then drop it onto this one like that. There we go, boom. Okay, so the best thing is to combine them into a single GDNT so that you can now displace everything by a single leader, not by two separate ones. Okay, 
And finally, uh, this is something that I have not mentioned in my previous videos when I talked about true position. I did not mention the meaning of this phi. So let me mention about that. So uh, when you talk about the true position in general and some other GDNTs, but uh, CF uh, feature control frames, FCFs, the most important one is uh, that is using this phi, S phi or nothing is the true position. So what's the meaning of each one of them? So if you see phi, S phi or nothing, that is talking about the shape of what? The shape of the tolerance zone. For example, if you say phi, it means that uh, uh, tolerance zone that I'm trying to control is what is a cylindrical feature of size. Okay, so the drilled uh, ax, the axis of the hole that is drilled, the true axis should be only what inside this a cylinder for which the radius is determined by this 0 0.005 or 5 microns. Okay, if I don't add anything, it means what? It means it's not really a cylindrical surface. It's the mid-plane of two parallel planes. And that mid-plane should be between two theoretical planes with that much of distance. And if I say S phi, it means spherical diameter. So now the hole is spherical. And here I'm controlling only what? A single point which should be inside the sphere with that much of radius okay so those uh, phi s phi or nothing will tell me the shape of the tolerance zone i just wanted to add that point for you so uh, you know the meaning of them is the shape of the tolerance zone so hopefully this short video gave you some important uh, as i said small yet very important things about reading gdnt and hopefully it was useful to you. Thank you and I'll see you in my next video.